Hello, I'm bioscience instructor Michelle Launderville, and I'd like to welcome you to the bioscience strand in the CREST program at Paradise Valley High School. We're going to be exploring some options with the bioscience program and help you decide whether or not the bioscience strand is the right one for you. Oftentimes, when students want to come into the bioscience program, they're thinking about a career in primary health care, such as becoming a doctor or a nurse. But there are over 1,000 different types of careers associated with the bioscience strand. Um, everything from research to primary health care, as mentioned before, dentistry, veterinary medicine, sports medicine, agricultural studies, and even bioinformatics which is a combination or blending of computer science skills and the biosciences. We even might want to think about careers in biomedical engineering or even environmental engineering. The future for all of these bioscience careers in Arizona is really, really quite bright. The Arizona Republic just came out with a, a study that says in 2021, Arizona will need 7,000 or have and, and produce 7,000 new bioscience jobs. And just since 2016, over 2,100 patents have been granted to Arizona bioscience inventors. In the Crest Bioscience strand, there are five different courses associated with the biosciences. Freshmen would take Honors Principles of Biotechnology in the spring of their freshman year, and that's the first course after they've had an opportunity to take Honors Biology in the fall. Sophomores have two courses that they will take, Honors Cell Biology in the fall, and then Innovations in Bioscience and Engineering in the spring semester. In the fall of your junior year, you'll actually have um, a free semester to explore other types of electives. And then in the spring of your junior year, you'll be back in the Crest Building for Honors Genetics. And then in the fall of senior year, it's Honors Microbiology. Both Genetics and Microbiology have an option to enroll in a dual enrollment type of credit for the University of Arizona. Your instructors, Michelle Launderville, that's me, and Amanda Cherry have over 30 years of teaching experience with many of those in the biosciences. We've both also won different teaching awards, so we're highly qualified to teach biotechnology or the biosciences at Paris Valley High School. We're also leaders in the state when it comes to helping other bioscience instructors um, start their programs and have the best types of quality programs available. In the bioscience courses at Crest, we do everything from learning how to make your own solutions to DNA analysis, running gels, tissue culture with plants in the sophomore year, um, immunology, bacteriology, epidemiology studied in your senior year with microbiology as well as learning excellent data analysis skills and learning how to technically read and write, which are very important types of skills. The pictures here are actually from students in our laboratories. Each course is associated with a particular field trip. So whether it's to go to ASU Biodesign to look at their biomedical engineering labs and environmental engineering labs, translational genomics, better known as TGen downtown, or the senior microbiology trip to the Scottsdale water plant, there's something special to be learned and to see within every course. We like to try to do these field trips so that students can see the relevance to what they're studying to real world types of careers and problem solving that happens right here in the, our very own city of Phoenix. Many of these different types of field trips will also are, are some of our internship partners as well. The bioscience strand is a rigorous course pathway. 
Um, we prepare you for high level work in college as well as future careers. The instructors provide lots of opportunity for enrichment and refining your skills. Every course is associated with a particular semester long research project. Freshman year, we students will study a particular career and really get to know all about that career. How do you become that particular type of um, specialist in that career? What type of academics do you need to study in college, high school? And what are the prospects for a career post-college? Sophomore year, students look at cellular function and structure in depth and research a human genetics-based disease. So each course has its own specific type of semester long research project with a poster night where you get to present all of your final hard work and efforts to the public. So it's really quite fun. In senior year, all CREST courses have a capstone project. And so during the microbiology course, seniors get to do any type of project of their own choice and get to choose their partners to conduct their final research project. Those projects are entered into the science and engineering fair that we hold in Paradise Valley. And we always have several students every year qualify for the state science and engineering fair. So we're very proud of those accomplishments. Students also get to do other types of opportunities like the students in this particular picture went to the Perry Initiative, which is a blend of um, orthopedic surgeons and biomedical engineers who present these specific opportunities for female students wanting to go in those particular careers. So these are some of our students that were lucky enough to be accepted to that very select and um, special type of, of nationwide professional development that, that this particular organization, the Perry Initiative, sponsors. A lot of our students have given us feedback over the years after they go off to college, once they've graduated from Paradise Valley High School and the Crest Bioscience Program. Some of them tell us that their college classes are even a little bit boring or easy, especially their freshman year. Some students are actually admitted into higher level classes because of the coursework that they have taken while they've been in the Crest Bioscience Program. And we've even had students as early as freshman year of college be hired in labs because of the wonderful skills that they have already acquired while a high school student. We've even had some students published in scientific journals as a result of their internships or once they get into college and start working in um, labs at the college level. So that's pretty exciting. Soft skills are also very important. So we really work on those presentation skills. Not only do you present to the public that final night of your work, your culmination of that hard work you've done in your research project for a semester, but we do smaller presentations throughout each course. We are always working on problem solving skills. You work with a team almost constantly, especially in the lab. And so you really have to develop strong and effective communication skills, as well as time management and conflict resolution. Students are also heavily engaged in data analysis and higher statistical analysis of the data that they actually correct, collect and generate through the labs. Pictured here, we have students that are out at some of our community service as well. And so we often go into the public at different events and work with the public and so students have an opportunity to have some community service as well as gain some public speaking skills again working with the general public and explaining science and especially the biosciences to the public. HOSA Future Health Professionals is our career and technical student organization. We have a very active HOSA membership with about 90 students every year that attend our HOSA meetings as well as competitions. And we do encourage all bioscience to join and participate. Again, you can get experience with community service, 
um, and it's definitely leadership. We have a very active executive board who plan all kinds of events for our hosts and members, including guest speakers, which are always fun to come in and hear other health professionals talk to our future health professionals. We also have competitions throughout HOSA with regional, state, and even students qualifying for nationals. So the students pictured in these photos on this particular slide all qualified for nationals by placing first, second, or third in their categories and competitions at state competition. And we've even been fortunate to have students placed in the top 10 nationally. When you're at a conference with 11,000 other HOSA future health professionals, that's really something to be proud of. So we hope that, that Crest Bioscience is for you, that you feel it will be a good fit for you. And we hope to have you as a future health professional, biomedical engineer, um, pharmacist, plant pathologist, whatever your heart desires. We would like to help you get there. Thank you and welcome to Crest. <laughs>